Okay, so this is a quick uh, video on <clears throat> reframing from the problem with being stressed to changing to what the person wants is more confidence. Really neat way of doing it. It shows how the brain works. If you keep focusing on what you don't want, you can't focus on what you do want. A uh, really neat way in which he does it, and the outcome is amazing. So uh, have a look. I put some markers in the different areas where things are happening. Enjoy the video. So, like, I put more stress on myself than I should. All right. And, like, I regret a lot of things that I don't do. Like, it's always like, oh, I can do it, but then when it comes to it, I can't. Okay. And then I kind of regret it later. Okay. So that's what you don't want. Yeah. You don't want the stress. You don't want to be stressed before you stress. But the reason that a lot of us don't change our lives is because we're only focused on what we don't want. When subconsciously focusing on what we don't want is actually a trigger for us to get more of it. If I say, don't think of a pink elephant right now, what are you thinking about? A uh, pink elephant, right? That's the way our mind works, is the more we think about not doing something, the more it actually does that thing. So you don't want to be stressed, and that's great, but what do you want instead? What do you want? The confidence to not stress. The confidence to not stress. And the confidence to know you'll be okay. Yeah. All right. So? And on a scale of one to 10, one being no confidence, 10 being total confidence, where are you at right now? Four. Four. Okay, deep breath in, let it out, close your eyes now. Focus on the sound of my voice. Imagine right now, the confidence, it's a four out of a 10. Feel it, embody it, breathe the way you breathe, stand the way you stand, feel the way you feel. Four out of 10. Imagine it's bumped up to a six. That's right, as you take that breath in, you feel that confidence just flow through you now. Stand the way you'd stand, feel the way you'd feel, breathe the way you'd breathe at a six. Now imagine it bumped up to an eight. Even more confident, as an even bigger breath, even more confident flows through you now. That's right. An eight out of a ten. Feeling amazing in every way. Stand how you'd stand, breathe how you'd breathe. Feel how you'd feel as an eight out of ten in every way. That's right. Those bigger breaths mean bigger confidence. As you bump it up now to a ten out of ten. That's right. Biggest breath of all, meaning the biggest boost of confidence of all. Stand how you stand, breathe how you breathe, feel how you'd feel. A 10 out of a 10. Nothing can get in your way. Because failure is part of life. Failure happens. Failure does not and will never change your worth, your value, your significance, or your unique, special purpose that you have in this life. Confidence is not that you'll never fail. Confidence is deciding you're unstoppable, even if you fail. Because the secret to beating failure is knowing the meaning we attach to failure. And the meaning we attach to failure is what makes failure feel so bad. But the way that you can beat failure is knowing that failure is only when you don't learn. I never fail if I learn something. You never fail if you learn something. And when you reframe failure in that way, you don't fail. And if you can't fail, what is there to be stressed about if you know you won't fail if you learn something? Every opportunity, every mistake is just a lesson. And a lesson is so much more beautiful than a mistake, isn't it? And if, what if your life, instead of just being surrounded by potential mistakes, was surrounded by potential lessons and potential growth, potential opportunities for you to become even better we become even stronger, even smarter, and even more special and unique. How do you feel right now? Feel good? Yeah? Awesome. You're gonna do so many big things. And that thing that used to keep you down and hold you back is not going to anymore. That confidence is there. That change of mindset is there. No more failures, just lessons. No more mistakes, just opportunities. And with that, you're gonna change the world. All right? Bring it. How did that make you feel? Great. It was like a like weight that's been there for so long just got lifted off my shoulders. Like I was able to relax for the first time in quite a while. All right. Are you? What are you doing for the rest of your life now? I'm gonna change the world. Hope you enjoyed the video. It was a quick one, but a lot of good. Uh, instruction on how you can do hypnosis and the results you can get in a very short time. Thanks for watching.